Are we good? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. My mouth is, my jaw is wired shut. Help. Oh, there we go. Bloggers. Bloggers. There are spoilers in this video. Yakuza Zero is a groundbreaking business management and unhinged violence simulator where the player is tasked with the thorough exploration of people's faces using your fists in this orient until inspired entertainment uh, product it's up to you to be dastardly criminals nearly to death manage the economy manage the economy. women as a pimp do the uh, yoinky oh. spoinky great pizza to the illiterate the and so spoinky. much more in the backdrop of a murder mystery crime drama incited by rampant real estate speculation we play as the hard-boiled yakuza kiryu zabumafu and goro ah. meningitis as they prowl the streets of that weird city from persona 5 along the way doing an excess of justified self-defense mugging to spend their <laughs> ill-gotten gains on increasingly odd behavior this? all in an effort oh? to untangle a sinister power struggle taking place within the silly spaghetti people club with such esteemed members as the entire cast of goodfellas and a sundowner from the metal goose series of course innocence will be caught in the crossfire it's an inclusive game but whether i was on the stage getting invested in the plot performing gentrification or just watching literal in-game pornography i was always <laughs> held at the edge of my seat wondering what could possibly come next so despite the dark and absolute certain murder, it maintains a tonal dissonance I can only describe as Why is it? This thing's so big. neck-shattering in a way that is always a breath of fresh air. With all this said and done, I invite you to enjoy the bizarre world of Yakuza Zero and the thrilling experience of its dimensional karaoke. There is no better place oh. to start than with the various oh, methods God. we employ to atomize people into their when base iconic games. With two playable characters and eight unique fighting styles, there is always variation. And for the blind people in my audience, Yakuza is a beat-em-up in the most literal sense possible, matching the player against absolute Mongolian hordes of strange characters, <laughs> such as goons, bikers, your own Yakuza, men in black, and um, Chinese men. Don't worry, these delicate hands would never kill anyone unless they don't subscribe. Ring that like button, smash the Bell, we attack using a flurry of different intricate the combos motorbike. to build our primordial rage meter, which we use to cause mm. the real damage in the form of hundreds of completely absurd animations ranging from light jabs to permanent injury and certain death. The beauty in all of this is that, like the beautiful and respectable sounding Japanese language, expulsion of our death <laughs> resource is context sensitive, with possibly hundreds of different, entirely unique animations, all dedicated to Kiryu's never ending war on bones. Are you carrying a giant cone? That's an animation. Are you near a ledge on this now. one level? Oh, okay. Not to worry. Or maybe you just have a box. Serve the that box. shit up faster than FedEx. Oh. Every single takedown is this gratuitously violent. But don't worry, neither of our the characters can only kill anyone. So we just give oh. them lifelong disabilities that are worse than death. Since I'm feeling generous, let's talk about exactly how. Playing as Kiryu Kazu, our fighting <laughs> styles consist of the Brawler, a classic, fast-moving fighting style focused on replicating the police experience. Rush Hour, a quick attacking and dodge-heavy moveset. I love well Cowards and monkey mode, which instantly adds several hundred pounds of muscle mass that you then have to drag around. It's not very good. Switching to our next character, Pirate Captain Goro Majima gives oh, us Majima. the funky styles. As a thug, we have a wide range of generic moves and the fucking neck snapping power. I don't think they're going to get back up. As a breakdancer, yes, a breakdancer, we sacrifice takedowns favorite. for style in the most absurd and flashy way possible. And as a slugger, we cheat by pulling out the fucking baseball bat and wield it like nunchucks. <laughs> letting us hit quite hard and exploit every boss in the game. He just can't uh, do anything. On top of this, there are two secret fighting styles normally completely inaccessible to the player, and unfortunately, the process for their acquisition is very interesting. One might say physically uh -oh. painful. As early as Chapter 7, you're given the business opportunity of establishing a whore monopoly, and Majima <laughs> takes it with great enthusiasm. To unlock club. the final fighting style, we will have to run our cabaret club well enough. Oh. 
to unseat the five <laughs> prostitution daimyo of Japan. It'll be a fun side quest, I told myself, just mm, like yes. Oblivion. That's a fun game. My favorite there are many ways to run a high-society cabaret club like Abuse, but a true manager of a great establishment has many factors to consider. Contrary to popular belief, all women are different, but like the caste system, what? all people can be classified. Our objective is to keep the customer as happy as possible by balancing our women's specializations. Some girls are cute, oh others Lord. are great at conversation, and some are skilled. Akina has a degree in biomedical it's engineering. Poor patrons, skill. like me, have very low expectations and can be pleased just with rubbing rocks skill. together, while wealthy patrons have refined tastes like physical and mental abuse. Every oh employee my. has their limits, and it's up to you to stretch them as far as possible. Truly, we are the Bezos of Cabaret. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be attending the <laughs> poor people hunt. Of course, as a proper host, it's up to mm -hmm. you to attend to every customer, whereupon things go from relaxing to batshit. Every time you wait a table, you'll receive a cryptic hand signal from the girl, which tells you what the customer desires. And if you want to please them, you better remember remember all of them. What, what the, the fuck hell? are you trying to say? I, I don't know. Uh, I'll what be back with a gun. And just in <laughs> case this wasn't painful, every time you go to a new table, the game will throw a fucking flashbang. So over the course of a never-ending grind, eye. I was given the most painful migraine I will ever get in my life. This screen and this music inspire my killing urges. By the way, this game is a beat-em-up, so to conclude our cabaret adventure, our reward is the Mad Dog style, which allows you to wield a knife and sprint at fucking breakneck velocity, Ooh. striking your foes like a cracked-up Doberman and unlocking takedowns that straight-up kill people. Oh, fuck, that looks pretty sharp. Anyways, good luck. Playing with the knife style is absolutely an experience, <laughs> one that I would never repeat ever again. So then I heard that unlocking the other secret style involved eight hours of the real estate quest. I probably had a PTSD attack. The real estate quest? Kiryu is going to have to do without the poopy poopy farto style. I have a fucking fish to feed. Take my advice. Yakuza Zero has a lot of side content. And if you happen to be a completionist, stay away. Or you might just be locked in the Facebook game for three days. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be spending the rest of my day betting on domestic violence. You know, God, when I, I first song. played this game, I expected brutal combat. I expected silly takedowns, but what I didn't expect was the hour I spent with the claw machine. In the machine. gotchas! Oh my god, I know. I was the I'm same. I'm a fucking blast. I don't think I need to play pool for three hours, but they just put it in. And let uh, me tell you, nothing sells the fictional world of Japan better than a good night the on the town. World so at this Japan. point, I started wondering I what can't. kind of game I was actually playing. It turns Sorry, out that Young as a Zero me. is a lot like reality. You always need more money, mostly for upgrades where you inject money directly into your arms and collect every vaccine. But secondarily, <laughs> healthcare what? never comes free. So every time you take damage, you're gonna have to consume to fill the void inside. Or alternatively, carry thousands of dollars in medicine. There is no limit to juicing. It's no exaggeration to say that Yakuza's difficulty depends entirely on how much of a Sigma male you are. Kiryu might not get any pussy, but he is getting paid. You might think that beating <laughs> up the homeless is the way to go, but that is it's for just... babies. If you want to make the real dough, you'll have to risk it all on gambling. Oh. More specifically, betting on oh scantily God, clad women go. beating each other half to what death. And because of the copyright music and interesting visuals, putting this in my video represents me betting my real income. Much however never has money problems because his cabaret pays him several billion yen the entire uh -huh. plot of the game happens because we're fighting over one tenth of that so it's a shame that i lost all of it yes all 10 billion of it because i was robbed by a man with fucking orangutan strength this is mr shakedown and if mr. you ever encounter shakedown. him yep. it doesn't Run. matter how much you have it doesn't matter how long you've spent getting it if you lose to mr shakedown he will take all 10 billion of it and then disappear to somewhere so Holy if you want a shit. cent of that back you better go find him uh, eventually that's pretty bad but like all human suffering this can become a business opportunity you see mr shakedown is actually a form of banking whatever amount he robs from you the game will add 15 percent more meaning if you're up for the challenge of defeating oh, Harambe, the returns are worth it at least with this method your money doesn't vanish into the void of course that isn't always a bad thing there's a lot of places to spend our money and most of them are fun a little too fun actually i don't want to have to read the fucking phone book to play some goddamn 
Sham Chinese Solitaire. Tabletop Simulator, never heard of it. The only game I play is Eels and Escalators. What I'm trying to say is, this is a rabbit hole. A good one. My personal favorite was getting addicted to the bowling minigame and then winning the chicken, who doubles as a financial advisor. Not Yakuza is not meant to be questioned, whoa, whoa. and that is even is the that? wackiest game. That honor goes to the phone dating, which takes the form of a shooter. Yes, like Call of Duty. To <laughs> win a date with the girl of our dreams, we are going to have to pay I'm for the right responses from a wide variety of options, most of which are insane, like what? inviting a girl to fight a marsupial. For some reason, women don't like that. Rules. But the best possible outings lean heavily on this game's amazing soundtrack, which features a number of beautiful karaoke I'm themes, stylish it. disco tracks, and stellar emotional ballads. I am, of course, talking about the karaoke and the dancing, which are both incredible in their style and creativity. They are so out there, so truthful, and sound so good that I just couldn't get enough of it. In short, they're everything a dance should be. This scene tells me more about Love Majima you. than an entire Hideo Kojima script. Kiryu has <laughs> never killed anyone, but let me tell you, this man knows how to murder a dance floor. And yet, that's not even half the fun, because Damn. Yakuza Zero contains an array of interesting, meaningful, and necessary oh, side quests, art. which allow the player to engage in a variety of small stories, ranging I from didn't get pizza too far delivery in to it, replacing but... a phone battery. Uh, that one's a little I know boring. Some... You can even roleplay as a Persona fan by following a child around the city. Often, these quests uh -huh. will have entirely unique fights and challenges, uh -huh. accompanied by complex moral judgment and logic puzzles. In one instance, I was given the task of infiltrating the cult of Munan Cho Hep Onas, whereupon Real. I had to learn the practice of Shura PP, the acquisition of Kulipas, and the greeting of Munancho, at which point the game <laughs> tested me on their exact I definitions. This. I promptly beat their leader to death. In another Word. instance, Kiryu teams up with the famous movie director, Steven Spinning, known for his hit <laughs> film, Indian part. Jeans, to complete a music video with famous international pop star, Miracle Johnson. <laughs> I was hired to beat the extras to death. Part. Now that I think about it, every side quest ends with a trip to the hospital, except for <sighs> the pizza one that ends in love it's not delivery it's too short no Goodbye. this stands in stark contrast to the actual plot of the oh, game which is so played nostalgic. completely straight taking everything i've said before into account like you might think this is weird years and ago. sometimes it is one day you might be saving a I helpless blind like woman that. and the next abandoning her so you can play idol master for several days i'm sure that she'll be just fine but funny um, anecdotes aside there is an abundance of real drama and emotion here of all the no, things no, i expected no. this game to be sad was not one of them neither did i expect a believable love story or the murder mystery. This game is Majima. downright determined to constantly surprise you, ah, even if it ah. has to stop making sense. In Majima's story, we are sent to kill a buff Chinese man before fighting him, teaming up with him to save the innocent, and then fighting him again, but I changed my mind. This exact arc happens with three separate characters, and that's just Majima's story. In fact, despite the game being called Yakuza Zero, Kiryu leaves the family in chapter mm -hmm. one. Yes, that then is true. Then he fucking rejoins it. Every antagonist has so much goddamn personality framed. that you just don't know when you're gonna be friends with them. Every man is vying for power and control, but each does it for their own distinct reasons. Awano is a Genshin Impact player who only desires money and women. Kuze <laughs> is a boxer who wants to fight a lot. Shibusawa is obsessed with power, and Nishitani is the Joker. Enemies become <laughs> friends, friends become enemies, and Kuze will not leave me alone. The oh. only character who's actually not interesting is essentially Chinese Spider-Man. Yo. Holy shit, whose defining feature is that he's ugly. Oh. Unless you play the Chinese version of the game, then he's weirdly handsome and also on the cover. But even when playing in the most serious of circumstances, the game still <gasps> catches you off guard. A tense deal with a Yakuza boss can change seemingly at random into a ridiculous combat encounter fighting 90 enraged apes. Or in the case of Majima, a visit to the CIA becoming a fever dream in which you have to fight the buff cross-dressers. The game cares more about good gameplay and fun story than actually making 
makes sense. It's quite refreshing. When Yakuza gets serious, it really means something. And when it's being silly, it's absolutely cathartic. <laughs> Everything has impact, unless it's a gun. We oh. haven't killed anyone, by the way. All in all, yeah, Yakuza yeah, yeah. is more true to life than any other game I've ever played. Not by making sense or being realistic, but emotionally. At the beginning of this game, Kiryu is just kind of a cool buff guy. But after exploring mm. his friendships, seeing him have fun, and just interacting with people, I realized that this is much more. So true. when things take a bad turn and we're at our lowest point, you really feel it more than almost any other game. Yakuza is about life, with all the beautiful ecstasy, awful tragedy, and everything in between. Fights are never just fun in Yakuza. They can be comedic, cathartic, or just really goddamn cool. Activities make you feel like a part of the world, and every cutscene is filled with emotion and personality. When I first played, I thought that Yakuza was all over the place, that it was somehow messy. But now I realize that life is fucking messy, so true. and that's okay. I want to thank all of the Yakuza bosses who are using my channel to launder money, kind of like a pizza joint in <laughs> New York City. Money. If you want to contribute towards the channel and facilitate all of our questionable activities, then <laughs> I recommend taking a look at my Patreon down below. Thank all of you for watching and waiting, and of course, don't try to escape. <laughs> Alright, that's all I've got in me today. Get out of here.